Hey folks, for this video, I'm very excited to show you this instrumentation kit that I've been putting together uh, over the last couple of years. I teach uh, instrumentation, instrumentation and experimental methods, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos where I have some uh, microcontrollers and some LEDs and things like that that I put together and I do some coding and software. Well, I finally uh, partnered with Tangibles That Teach and I've put together a small kit that you can purchase for $50. And when you buy it, it comes in this uh, USPS uh, priority mailbox, and I just wanted to do an unboxing video so you can see the uh, components that are in here. So let's uh, open this up. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna pull out is this uh, battery pack. Uh, so it has a little belt clip on it, so you can clip things on your, uh, your belt, and you can put three AA batteries inside, and it's got a small power cable so you can power uh, your microcontroller. You're also going to have a uh, small USB cable, and this can connect to your computer and your microcontroller so that you can load software onto the circuit playground. We also threw in uh, three AA batteries, so again, you can uh, use the USB cable to program your microcontroller, your circuit playground, and then you can unplug it. The code is on the microcontroller itself, and then you can put the AA batteries in your little battery pack. You can hook it to your belt clip if you want, or you can have it... Uh, just sitting on a desk and take data without it being tethered to a computer. So that's kind of nice. We've also thrown in a uh, small micro servo. A servo basically has uh, three pins. It's got power, ground, and signal. And the signal wire, which in this case is orange, is uh, a PWM signal. And that PWM signal is a square wave that goes from 0 to 5 volts at some duty cycle. Um, on, we also include in this servo some, uh, some control horns. So you can actually, if you ever uh, look at some of my RC aircraft videos and you see like ailerons and elevators move, you can use a servo to, to move things essentially. And so uh, a servo is a nice thing to have and your circuit playground can control that. The next thing is the circuit playground itself. And so it comes in this, uh, I forget what these things are called. They're sort of uh, static safe um, cases. It comes with a nice Adafruit sticker so that you can put it on whatever you want, your laptop, your, your desk, whatever. And then inside is the small uh, circuit playground. So the circuit playground is a circular microcontroller. It's got uh, the, top pin, the top plug here is for your USB to run from your laptop. The bottom pin uh, is for a battery and you can use your three AA battery holder or you can use a one cell LiPo battery. Uh, you're basically looking for something over 3.3 uh, .3 volts, I think, and under 6, I believe. 1.5 times 3 is 4.5 volts. Yeah, so I think that's the range to power it. The Circuit Playground has two buttons, left and right here. It's got a reset button in the middle. It's got a switch. It's got a microphone. It's got a speaker. It's got LEDs all the way around. And then it has breakout pins that you can attach your alligator clips to and um, put things in your breadboard. It also comes with a standard, uh, what, two inch by three inch breadboard. And so you can put all of your components that it comes with in there. Uh, th it'll be a baggie with a bunch of little components. There's a lot of things in here. Uh, we've got two resistors. I think they're on the 300 ohm um, range. These are just to run LEDs. If you run full uh, current through an LED without uh, a resistor, you will fry the LED. It'll be really bright for a bit, and then it'll fry it. Um, it looks like mine, uh, my kit that I came with, came with three LEDs because, unfortunately, some students forget to uh, put their LED in series with a resistor and they fry it. So you've got three LEDs. It looks like I've got a yellow one, a green one, and a white one. Uh, so that, that'll be really fun to light up. Um, we've got a push button. So I don't know if you can hear that clicking. Oh, wrong side, that clicking. Uh, push button, basically it, it allows current to flow when the button, button is pressed. And then when you release the button, it is no current is no longer flowing. So you can use it to, uh, to read an input or turn on an LED. Uh, potentiometers come in all shapes and sizes. A potentiometer has three pins. Um, it's kind of like a transistor in the sense that it has three pins, but it acts completely differently. There is a small screw at the top of this, and I'm using my nail to turn it. And let me see if I can hold that up to the screen. 
Uh, if you have a small screwdriver, you can use it, or you can use a nail. But basically, a potentiometer is a variable resistance resistor. So if you turn the uh, screw all the way uh, counterclockwise, you will have little resistance. And if you turn it the other way, you will have a lot of resistance. And so you can use that to vary the voltage through something or the current through something. So you can change the brightness of an LED or, a, a, you know, or, or measure some input from some other source. Um, this is a photo cell and a photo cell is basically a, it's also a variable resistance resistor. But the way you change resistance on a photocell is not by turning a screw, but by changing the light intensity. So if I hold my hand over something, less current will flow. If I remove my hand and let the ambient light come in, more current will flow. It looks like those are all of the individual breadboard components. The circuit playground has an accelerometer on it, so it can measure the gravity field vector but it does not have an angular rate sensor. It does not know how fast you're rotating. So we threw in this Adafruit uh, LIS 3MDL and LSM 60S33 uh, nine DOS sensor. And so this actually has an accelerometer and an angular velocity sensor. This, has, this is the only component that you need to solder. Um, you can do, I, so far I have 19 experiments in my kit. So if you buy the kit and you don't want to solder, you can do 19 experiments. There is a 20th experiment that requires soldering this component so you can put it on a breadboard. Uh, there are, are plenty of other video, videos if you want to learn how to solder, or if you just don't want to do this one, that, that's uh, totally fine. But uh, measuring angular velocity is really neat. Um, so I encourage you to uh, try and try and learn how to solder. I test it on some other components and then uh, break, uh, break the header pins here and attach it to this breakout board and, um, and try and solder and put it on your breakout board and, and, and do that experiment. Lastly, but certainly not least, are the alligator clips. So if you take the circuit playground and the alligator clip, you can actually attach it to the circuit playground. So there I have a yellow wire uh, clipped in and basically the uh, pins the breakout pins on the circuit playground are I think those are not gold plated but or they might be brass I forget what material it is but basically it transfers current from the circuit playground to the alligator clip and then you have a free end here and you can put the free end into the breadboard and you can start building circuits. Um, I only include four alligator clips because for all of my experiments, you only need a maximum of four. You just don't need that many. There is not much in this kit. If you think about it, you've got a photo cell, uh, some LEDs, a push button, a potentiometer, a circuit playground, and I have a, you know, 19, 20 experiments that you can do for an engineering instrumentation class. So the, the goal of the kit is to sort of get your hands dirty. It's to actually build something. Don't just do the math on the whiteboard. You know, don't just answer a question on an exam. Actually build something, put it together, and see it work. Um, there's a huge difference between seeing something on paper and doing it yourself. And this kit is a DIY kit. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, and I hope you buy my kit, and uh, I hope you learn something. See ya.